Hello YouTubers, I've just been messing around with batteries and I just thought I would run this by you before I make the main video because there's going to be quite a lot of time involved. But I'll just explain to you what I've been doing because I'm quite interested in regeneration of batteries and just seeing what works and what doesn't and seeing, you know, trying to sort the wheat out from the chaff because you hear all these reports about reconditioning chargers and how they work wonders and there's all sorts of caveats and disclaimers and, you know, I don't know what to think so I thought I'd find out for myself what to think. So what we've got down here is a uh, 40 amp hour battery, 50 amp hour battery should I say, from Halfords. It's the advanced Halfords range, the calcium. And as you know the calcium is just put into the lead plates to make the plates more robust, a bit stronger, stop them crumbling, flaking and uh, etching away and generally losing battery performance due to deterioration in the physical condition of the plates. All right, so they're supposed to be a little bit more tolerant to deep discharge little less prone to plate buckling and crumbling and supposedly last longer. This one's got a four year guarantee. It is three years old. It's off a family car. It came off the car two days ago and what was happening to the car was that um, it was starting and running fine but if you say for example parked it and cleaned the car with the doors open within an hour the battery would go flat. It was the cranking amps were sufficient to get the car going. In fact it seemed quite sprightly but there was no capacity there. You know all the feeling where you know, you, um, your, part, your car's going fine, you leave the lights on 15, 20 minutes, you go back and it's flat. It's that kind of scenario, the battery is towards the end of its life. And I thought, being quite a young battery and more or less working, but not properly, it would be a good candidate for uh, regeneration. So what I've been doing, actually, I've got the, I've just bought a Noco Genius 5 from Amazon to do the testing with, because they claim, you know, it's an expensive charger. I haven't reviewed the Noco 5, so the Noco Genius 5 charger will be in this uh, part of this series, probably about three videos. And uh, so we're going to test that out and have a look inside it as well and just see how, how that performs. And also check their battery regeneration mode, see if it makes any difference whatsoever. So I'll just explain the setup I've got here. If we get a bit closer, there I've got the battery and then the battery is connected to the power meter. And the power meter is programmed to do a battery discharge cycle. And you can see down at the bottom of the uh, screen on the right hand side is the current amp hours uh, that's been discharged from the battery. Got nice, really thick leads so we don't get any voltage drop or power loss in the wires. You can see them. And then just to make sure before I depart down the route of doing this test with the iTech programmable power load. I just thought I would run it in parallel with the Yokogawa to see to make sure that the uh, iTech is accurate because the Yokogawa is fiendishly accurate. Okay, so there we have it, and we've got 4.52 on that one and 4.49, actually 4.5 now. So you can see this is it might be over reading by one one percent, but it's good enough for our situation. All right, now. What is interesting is that um, I have been charging this battery fully charged um, one day and then the next day I've been fully discharging to the safe char uh, discharge voltage of 10.6 volts. If you look in the association of car uh, manufacturers and the specifications it says that the, the rated capacity on the battery 50 amp hours is this battery discharged to 10.5 volts right so that's what it should be in any case um, I've done it three times so I charge it one day and then run it down the next day to a safe discharge level of 10.5 volts and then I measure the amp hours of being discharged from the battery the amp number of amp hours the battery has provided in that figure there okay the 4.7 that would read and interestingly enough when I did the first test I've done it three times with a Audi charger so far, Audi XS battery charger. The first run was 25.4 amp hours, the second charge was 24.23 and the third charge was uh, 23.69 so it seems to lose one hour of amp hour of capacity on each run. Now I don't know if that's normal, whether that's just a normal battery deterioration. The 10.5 volt load is supposed to reserve 80% of the capacity of the battery in there. So we shouldn't be doing anything dangerous or really um, 
serious discharge to denigrate the performance of the battery. So, but on every cycle it seems to lose an amp power. So I've explained the setup to you, okay, so with the Noco Genius 5, I'm going to rig this up and I'm going to start the first test with a Noco Genius 5. So I'm going to do a full, full charge, uh, full discharge three times just to make sure we get a reasonable benchmark and then I'm going to do a full charge and engage the regeneration mode on here which says should last 12 hours and then we'll do another accurate discharge. I'm doing this now because I'm giving you a, a, the heads up so if you want to see anything specific in the test then you can leave some comments below this video and then I will um, try and incorporate your comments in the test. For example I know I haven't done a cold cranking amps test on this battery yet and I will but I didn't really want to do it yet until we got some kind of benchmarks so I thought we would do the charging cycles and then see what we get and then cold cranking test and then if the knocko regen has no difference on this partially consumed battery then we would try some more drastic regeneration methods which I read on the internet for example down here I've got a one kilowatt DC regulated power supply so I could uh, give it a real dose of beans you know current for a, a few seconds or a minute or something and see whether that actually makes any difference to the actual capacity itself as well and if there's anything you want me to test then let me know and I'll try and incorporate it but that's what's coming in the next couple of days well three or four days